So I want to show an example of something. You might hear a guy say, hey, this looks heavy on the tape. And that means the short-term price is not sustainable. And the next move is likely down. Um, in this case, uh, CUDA starts to have trouble getting above uh, 2650. The bottom of the range on the open was 2580. And it starts to have trouble at 2650. Uh, finally gets above 2650. And then this is a good example of something that looks heavy. It, um, because it starts to look heavy and it doesn't trade above 60 cents, um, I get short, I get short in front of 60 cents and just play the next move down. Um, and then it wicks to, it wicks to all the way back down to the bottom of the range, 80 cents. And I just get long and trade it up to, I just get long in front of 80 cents and sell it into the next up move. Um, I always say this, there's different ways to attack it. You certainly could have shorted against 60 and held it longer um, than I do. The, the purpose of this is twofold. One, to show you what a tape looks like when it's heavy. And then two, to show you how to take advantage of something when it steeply pulls into a level that had been formed. Okay, so 2580 is the level it, it held from. Um, so so let's, 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 let's go to those two teaching principles. All right, so let's watch the tape. Real quick, it's Joe open is that first big red candle? All right, so I'm watching Kuda. So, this is, so just can you stop the tape? So you see the pressure against 50 cents? You see the pressure last time against 50 cents? So they're trying to pay the offer and it's holding the offer at 50 cents. Let's, let's play. 47, some 45. All right, so back up to 50 again. Last time it didn't trade above 50. The bits are kind of far away from the offer. It's interesting. Bits step up a little bit higher. Bits step up a little bit higher. Some stop. See, there's some volume. See, there's some volume there at 48 and a half on that dark bulls. The penny offer again, play. They're kind of far away from the offer. Interesting. 45, not really holding the bid. The penny offer a little bit there. You see them paying the 50s a little bit there? Paying the 50s, 49 and a half. That's that's all right. So watch all the volume down at 57 and 58. Gets above that that pretty important area. See all the volume down at 58, 58. Volume down at 58, 58. Volume down at 59, 58, 57. 57 and a half. See all the volume being done there. All right. So I'm going to short that against. Um, 60 cents, kind of pulls in pretty quick. And I'm at a bid for it right there. All right, so stop. Um, now it doesn't. Again, you could have. This is a this is a choice. You can you can hold this for longer. I think this is going to go lower. That's just a move to move trade. Um, it'll be up to you as to how you decide to trade. Um, but when something gets above. You remember, it's, this is a price discovery period, right? So I wouldn't do this if it was 10.15. If this was like 10.15, 10.30, and we were breaking above uh, an important level, I wouldn't be fading it. But it's so early in the day, and the stock really has come from <clears throat> 25.80, that, and the stock's up a lot. I feel like 
there's all these people who pay the offer up there at 58 cents. I've got a very definitive area where I'm wrong, 61 cents. And um, this thing could, I can make some, some pretty good money. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. Go ahead, Jeff. That was the step down to the 50, dropped out, and then yep. redid it straight up to like 60. And yep. stuff right there. Like it got 60, maybe 61. But they the way that stuff didn't step back. Out. So the way that I'm, and the other thing I'm thinking about is when that gets about 50, this, this is up so much, I'm thinking like this is going to move away from price pretty aggressively. Yeah. And like when they start selling that damn thing at 57 to 58, and it's like on the dark pools, it's like very suspicious to me. Yeah. Um, it's too heavy. Like it should have just, it should have found a higher price easier. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use the top of that up move above 50 cents as my exit, and try and trade it against there. So um, you know you want to short 57, 54, wherever as, as best you can. Um, stop 61, and then you have a choice to trade this all the way back to. 26 or 25.80 or move to move trade it. So, you put any value on like so it lifted to 60, yep, dropped out to like 56 or 55 or something like that, and then tried to lift again. And that's where we really saw the selling at 50 and 59. Yeah, and is that where it's like, okay, this is now I can control my risk? Yeah, okay. you could see, you totally see that okay. exactly right. Um, and then the other thing I want to watch is now remember. On the open, it tested 25.80 and it held it. And the reason why the stock is up at 26.50 is that is the bottom of the range. Okay. So you just saw it get above 50 cents. All right. Watch what it does. Watch what happens. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. What? It didn't come close to what? It was holding like 35, was as high as it could lift. And then it just that's, an ex again. that's an example of like something coming down very, very fast to an area where um, it held from. Like I'm going to step in front of these guys and use 80 as my exit, right? And, and I don't even think this, I'm not even saying the stock should go up, but like this stock should go back up into uh, 26, 14, um, pretty most times. All right, let's play, let's see what happens. All right, so I bought it. It's so close to 80. And then I put it up at eight cents. And I got taken. I, I should have been up. It looks like it looks like it goes to fifteen cents. Just stop. So it looks like it goes to fifteen cents. I probably should have been like um, half at eight cents and half at thirteen cents. Probably should have done it that way. Um, but that's an example of how to use a level from the open. Um, any thoughts on, on that trade? Were, did you notice like the big uh, buyers there close to 80 cents? Is that, did that give you more conviction or you, you were just using the... So 80, cents, so 80 cents bought on the open. I was watching. You guys didn't see this, but 25.80 held it. Mm -hmm. And then that's what made the stock go up towards the high. Okay. So that's our, that's our support level from right, right after the open. Okay. So when something goes from 26... 26.58 that quickly down to the level that it's supported from, <clears throat> the next, you, you have a very high probability that the next logical move is going to go back up. And if you're wrong, you're just going to head out below 79 cents. So, you know, you want to, 
you want to buy 86 and probably sell 8s and 13s. Um, and, you know. Would you prefer to, this is something we're talking about a lot, but of, would you, are you missing the potential real move by playing for the, the bounce move? And I understand it's totally price discovery, and so I'm guessing I'm asking your opinion on that. I'm, I'm not here to tell you that this is the way to trade. I'm here to tell you this is a type of trade you can make. Yeah. Okay. We will talk more about um, swing trades you can make and real move trades you can make. Um, with with better examples. Um, and you're welcome to walk away from this and say, I'm only going to trade real move type trades. Um, but as I say a lot, the thing that I see as a differentiator between people who are successful at this job and people who aren't are people who can read the tape. And those are two examples right there of an edge on the short side from the tape and an edge on the long side from the tape. Um, is, is anyone, I'm happy to answer questions as to why that was, if anyone, does anyone have an, a question as to why that was down in the 80s? Why there was edge down there? Yeah. Pre market low, did you take that into consideration? Or was it just straight out the tape? It was the, it was the, it was how it came into the level. It had such an edge. It was too fast. It was, it was too fast. I mean, it, it moved, uh, it moved 80 cents at $25 stock. Yeah. The odds of it breaking below 80 cents are just de minimis. You have almost a 70 cent move in. You know, so you, you have, you're, you're putting yourself in a situation where you buy 86 <coughs> and you sell, so you can make, um, can make 25 cents and risk um, seven cents and, and have a win rate of like, I haven't measured it, but I would just guess the win rate is very close to 90%. Um, the win rate is less on that other heavy one, heavy trade, but you're talking about, um, depending on how you traded it, uh, you know, four cents of risk for 30 cents of gain and a win rate of over over 60%. Um, obviously, this is hindsight, but you obviously did this very quickly. Do you think you would have had time to do two separate uh, offer outs, offers? I get out, you said 2608 and 2613 would have been your ideal. Like swing, I have to, I have to admit, I, I was actually doing, on both of these trades, I was doing something else. Yeah. So, um, you should anyway. I, I really wasn't paying that close attention. Uh -huh. I'll just say. But uh but yeah, I'm like I know so I, I need to get a lot I would so. uh I don't know. I think I think eight cents is probably is probably okay. I, I think it was probably okay. I think from looking back on this, I think eight and thirteen were were better. Mm -hmm. Um but I think eight cents was okay. I don't. I don't think it was terrible. Yeah. Um, I think I probably could have done the same thing on the downside too, which has probably gone half where I where I covered it, and maybe half uh, into probably into that like second down move. The one I got below twenty kind of went into twenty six, maybe like twenty six oh eight. That might have been half too. I probably could have done that one too. Um, I don't know that I would, anyway. I don't know that I was that. Anyway. I thought my focus level wasn't as high as it should have been. Um, anyway. Yeah, gotcha. Just an example of that. All right, any questions? Look, and these are things like, um, and you ask me a question, like we're tr you're trying to put together your playbook. You're, this is a, an illustration of reading the tape skills, and you guys can do what you want with reading the tape skills. Um, 